This one's going to be on this plug-in for XFC panel. It's a uh, mail watcher. Uh, it should be installed by default, but if it isn't, it should be in your repositories. Anyways, go to the panel pop here, right click on it, and go to panel, add new items, and you know, search for mail, right? And this one's called the mail watcher. So just add it. Uh, since I already have it, I have this one right here. It's graded out, but if you want to move it, you can move it to do that. But I'm going to use the properties here. And in here, you all use hit add. Uh, and they have different options in here. So, you know, they have one for pop, IMAP, and all that. But we're going to use the Gmail one. And you hit OK. Since I already have it here, I'll show you what it looks like here. So you give your name and, you know, your login for your Gmail, your password. And this is the interval that it will check for email. So every 10 minutes it's going to check your email, um, or I mean your Gmail account, if there's a new email. Uh, as far as the bottom part here, it says external programs. Now this one, it's um, when you click on this icon, what do you want it to do? So we want it to open our browser uh, and then go directly to Gmail. So to do that, we're going to do xdg-open and we're going to type in HTTPS and gmail.com basically what this would uh, what is this we're gonna do is that the xdg command is gonna tell it to use your default um, uh, yeah, was that browser so if you have like chromium firefox or whatever it is if that's your default it's gonna use that so let's try this out here All right so I have my um, chromium here and if I click on this it's gonna open uh, gmail and you can check your email like that way, right? Um, let's do something else with this here too. Go back in here, go to properties. Now the other option down here it says um, run for new message. You can actually alert yourself in different ways. There's one to use sound or you can use um, a notification. So I want to do the sound one first. Uh, let me get an audio for this. Sure, So I have a WAV file here, right? And copy that location here. And basically, what you want to do right here is we're going to use M player. Uh, since we don't want to open that GUI application or anything, we just want it in the command line. So we type in M player. And then we're just going to paste in um, our link that we just copy. You can use any um, sound file you want, like WAV, MP3, OGS, or whatever it is. Right, but anyways, that's our uh, sound, and then we're gonna close it, and we're gonna test it out here. We don't have any new email, but let me check this one, and then we're gonna say unread. So whenever we run this here, and if there's a new email, it's gonna give us the sound that we want. So let me do update here. Right, so it will play that sound every time there's a new email. Um, so that's it for that. See here, we'll mark this as red now. Uh, if you want to do this for, or if you don't like to do like sound, because some people don't like sound either, uh, what you can do, let's go back in here, is we can use what's that called? The notify send. So notify send. And if you want to put a title, you can put Gmail. That's our title, and our message is you got mail, or something like that, and then end it with single quotes. And that's all you gotta do for that. And uh, let's test it out again, okay? So we'll mark this for update. Now it's graded out again, so we're gonna check this and we'll put it as unread again, all right? And when we do this, we'll do the update again. And there you go, you have this little message here or this uh, pop-up notifier thing. It says Gmail and then you got mail. If you want to make this look sexier, let me give you uh, an icon. You can actually add an icon to that. So let me search for an icon first. Uh, the icon has been .ico file. So make sure you convert it to an ICO file. Right? Okay, that's enough. Uh, we'll use one of these file that I have here. Let's see ICO yeah what was that Gara here. So let's see what it looks like first. So 
So we have this little picture of Gara, right? And we're going to use that for our notification. So to do this, we can actually test it out right here if you want. Uh, we use those that notify sin, and then we don't use the dash i for our um, icon. And what is that? We want to put a title. So a title can be Gmail or whatever you want. And our message, we can say you got mail, right? And then when we run this now, uh, it should pop up this little, you know, Gmail, you got mail, and then you have a picture of Gar right there. So if you want to make it more pretty, you can do that. Um, so that's it for that. If you want to get some other option, you can type in, what is that, notify, send, dash, dash, help, right? So the one that we just used was the dash I, right, for the icons. And like I said before, make sure it's in a .ico file. Uh, but anyways, all you gotta do is copy this thing now. And copy this sucker. Put it in uh, properties here. Right, and then we have um, our notification with an icon and everything. Um, other things you can do, like if you don't want your notification to be in the top right corner here, you can actually go into your is that your settings here and then notifications you can change the location of it so if you want to top left and you get a little preview here right so this is how it look like if you have like multiples but you can actually you know have different locations like bottom you know like here if you want and even change some of the themes like smoke um, some of the goofy ones that they have but I'm going to use the, the default stuff again right anyways how does this look like when you have a, a new uh, email let's see here we'll mark this as red we'll grade this one out again All right so now it's graded and we mark it as unread and so we'll do this again the last time here update now and there you go it'll say you have a, a new email and the message is gmail and you got mail it has a picture and this one turns uh, yellow or is it orange or whatever when you have a new uh, email, right? So that's it for that. Anyways, go install that if it's not already installed. Um, if you're using XFCE, that'll be it for this one.